Hi guys, welcome to another class of Pilates at TZ. Today we're doing another standing class. We're going to use a kettlebell. If you don't have a kettlebell, you can just use a weight. Sometimes I just find that heaviness a little bit heavier than a weight. But it's all okay with what you got. So coming to stand, the feet a little bit wider than hip width. Toes turned down. Bend the knees, pull the core in, tuck the chin in, rolling down one vertebra at a time. And then when you hear just hands, inhale, pulling your core in, rounding into the back, coming up. Sink a little deeper, push the knees out, engage in abs, knees out, coming into your goddess pose in yoga, they call it. But make sure you're not arching your back. So keep the core tight in your pose. Sink a little lower and up. Sink lower. Hinge from the hips, fold forward. And then bring the hands to the mat, parallel the feet, rounding into the back, rolling up. Grabbing the kettlebell or the weight. Now you're going to heel to the feet a little bit wider. So I've got, I guess, two shoulder widths apart, maybe a drop more. Keeping the weight here. You're going to sink nice and low. Push the knees out. Keep the core tight. Sitting up nice and tall. Shoulders down the spine. And you're going to squeeze over and back. Squeeze over. So you only straighten the leg to the side you're going away from. Four. Keep it nice and low. Five. If you need to, you can take your feet a bit wider. Keep sitting up nice and tall. Keep the core tight so you don't arch or round into the back. Eight. Hold it here. Sink lower. Lift the chest. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Sink down and again. One, two, three. Don't lock that knee if you tend to lock. So keep it nice and soft. Five. Sink. Stay low. Six. Inhale. Eight. Stay low. Sink down. Lift the chest. Go a little deeper. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two. Five, six, seven, eight. Back to center. Last one. This leg should be getting nice and tired. Smile and breathe. Three, because if you smile, then you do breathe automatically. Four, five, nice and tall. Six, so the way you don't round into the shoulders and keep it nice and tall. Number one, pull the abs in. And number two, looking straight up. Hold it here. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, five, six, seven, eight. Stretch it up. Parallel the feet. And just bend and stretch and pulling the hands, both hands, to that ankle as you pull back. So although it's not really stretching ideally, it is stretching the leg and giving you a bit of a break. Second side, sitting nice and low, squeeze, one, turning the toes out, two, three, Four, keeping that knee pushed out, squeezing the glutes, squeezing the quads. Eight, hold it here, sink low, and lift the heel or keep it down. Lift the chest, looking straight ahead, sink lower, one, two, five, six, seven, eight. Come back, and one, two, three, exhale, four. Five, six, seven. This leg's getting nice and tight now. Eight. Hold it here. Four, five, six, seven, eight. A little lower. Five, six, seven, eight. Next set. Last set. One. So don't come up. I want you to stay with both knees bent. Four. So this leg is working all the time. Seven. Eight, it's going so quick. Hold it here. 
four, five, six, seven, eight. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Back to center. Hold forward, parallel the feet. Bend that knee, stretch it up, and then walk the hands over. So come into the second side. If you've got a weight, you can just hold it. Otherwise, taking your dumbbell, you're facing forward into your lunge position. You're on the toes of the back foot, if you can balance, and we just squeeze down and up. Two. Three, four, five. Squeeze that butt as you go down. Squeeze that butt. Eight. Squeeze. Hold. Pull the core in. Sit up nice and tight. Seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And one, two, three, four. So you've got a nice wide stance. So you're feeling the working into the front leg, but that back hip flexor should be working. Hold. Five, six, seven, eight. And last set. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Bend and hold. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Changing sides. So the feet are hip width apart. Keep it nice and wide. You're on the toes of the back foot. And we squeeze down. And as you go down, you squeeze the back. Squeeze the thigh of that leg that's in front. Five. Inhale, always the exhale on the harder part. Seven, eight, eight, seven, six, up, hold it here. One, two, three, go. Seven, eight. One, two, five, six, seven, eight. Up and down. One. Keep the core tight. Three, four, five. It would be better if you could have the weight away from you. I'm actually cheating holding it on my chest. Hold. Five, six, seven, eight. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Up and down. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, hold it. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, five, six, seven, eight. Coming to your Russian twist. <coughs> Taking the weight. The first set we're going to do, the feet are on the floor. So, coming onto your sit bones, shoulders relax, coils tight, and twist lowering as low as you can if your weight is light then you can do the full russian twist 9 10 11 12 13 14 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 release it down just stretch it up. We're going to do two more sets of that. The first we're going to hold to one side. Sit bones hold. Oh, sorry, feet are down. Four, five, six, nine, ten. Lean back a little. Keep the core tight. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. Coming up. I'm feeling it into the top of the shoulder, the oblique. So inhale, other side. One, two, feet are down, four. Hands are off the belly. Lean back. Nine, 10, 13, 14, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Release. 
and fold forward. Coming up, we're going to alternate side to side. We're going to do three sets of eight. Sit up nice and tall, leaning back slightly and go. Feet are off the mat. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one more set, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Release it down. If you're finding these hard, then you can just carry on doing maybe just a Russian twist without any weight if it's getting too much. Just remember to always keep the back tight. Make sure you're not feeling it into the back. But if it's too much, do what was easiest for you. Otherwise, we're taking it over the weight or the kettlebell. If you've got a weight, try and take it up, stand it on its side. If it's going to fall down and cause injuries, then just make sure you go nice and high. You can have your hands on the mat and we're just going to squeeze over. Keeping the core nice and tight. Inhale onto sit bones, hands are behind you. You can bend the elbows or you can take the hands out. Straight arms and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, four times. One. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, last set. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, and come down, <sighs> reaching, opening the front of the chest, reaching the arms up, and release. And then just coming onto tippy toes, so you want that whole inline together of the legs, so the inner thigh, knees, toes, coming up onto the toes, puffing the chest up, either take your head back, or you can tuck your chin in. Release it down. Thank you for joining me in another lesson of Pilates with T-Z with a kettlebell.